We are getting some insight from one Corpus Christi City Council member on why he was among those voted to outs. Three library board members who were hoping to get reappointed. Among their replacements, a person who the League of Women Voters calls an active proponent in the book banning movement. One of the former library board members who was not reappointed is also stepping forward to speak out tonight. Our Bill Churchill has been following this story for us and joins us now with the details. Bill. Rudy Leslie, the library board acts as an advisory to city leaders on all things library services. Three News has obtained a copy of the applications for the board from over 20 candidates here. Now I read through them and you can tell some people spent a lot of time filling them out. Others, not so much. The applications proving or providing us a closer look at the backgrounds of some of the new members. Pooja Bindi Navale was not reappointed. It was very much blindsiding. She was hoping to serve another term on the library board, but says council took a different turn. It seems like it was a very deliberate decision. Among the applications submitted, the three existing board members seeking reappointment. Bindi Navale, who has a degree in biochemistry, a mom of five, and serves on her children's PTA boards. Candace Hart, a retired librarian, and Vicki Natale, who worked 40 years in higher education, all were passed up. I feel like if you're not going to reappoint someone, you should either have a conversation with them ahead of time, which I understand that none of those council members reached out. Any opposed say no? No. No. Councilman Everett Roy was among four other council members who voted not to reappoint the three women. Other council members initially voting no included Gil Hernandez, Mike Pusley, Michael Hunter, and Dan Suckley. I know that myself and other council members had a lot of questions about some of the procedures, policies, just overall. Yeah. When I've tried to reach out to some of the existing board members, it's been a very kind of hostile environment. For Pooja, it was a different story. None of those council members attended one library board meeting, nor did they reach out to any library board members with any concerns that they had. I have uh, five nominations. All right. Roy says he was prepared to nominate just one candidate, but was told by the city secretary that he could nominate five, all of whom were ultimately voted in. And I based those five because those are people that I had their bios, their information from and had talked to them or talked to people that knew them. But some of the new selections sparked questions from community members. This person has been vocal in advocating before other local elected bodies that her group's views are what people should be allowed to read. I've never had any of the candidates indicate to me in terms of wanting to do or be involved in book banning. So who are the new members? Carrie Moore, seen here, has a bachelor's degree in paralegal studies. She listed her employer as Citizens Defending Freedom, a group that is described on their website as a Christian-based nonprofit that aims to fight radical gender policies. Joan Carrillo, a retired elementary teacher. Patricia Craig, a volunteer with a bachelor's in aeronautical engineering. Melinda De Los Santos, who serves on the Election Integrity Project. And Dolores Rabon, who simply shared she was retired and a concerned citizen. Everett said the selection went beyond looking at the initial resumes. He adds the three women up for reappointment never reached out to him. I had other people that reached out that were willing to serve and uh, they seemed open-minded they seemed even temperate and I just thought you know what maybe it's time to look at a change. And Roy says that since the vote he has received threatening emails because of his selection it is important to note, according to the city manager, Peter Zanoni, the library board is only able to advise. They do not have any power to institute any policy on what the library actually does with its books. Now, the next library board meeting is Tuesday at 1030 in the morning at La Rotama Library. Back to you.